Hello, welcome back to my course, Worldview Studies. So let me share my PPT. And uh, we are now talking about New Age Worldview. And last time I mentioned strong and weak points of this worldview. Let me summarize uh, these strong and weak points, and then we can move on to the final part, the alternatives. So I, or, uh, I talked about the strong point first. Uh, number one, let me share. New Age has recovered uh, this importance of human beings' spirituality the mental and invisible aspect, which has been underestimated by naturalism, materialism, and Marxism. Number two, this worldview encourages self-reflection so that you think of yourself more. Finally, the strong point of New Age is that it inspires all into everything in this world. Then, what about the weak points? First of all, New Age worldview can easily fall into self-deception. Uh, if you say that you are God, it is uh, actually deceiving yourself and others because you are not. Secondly, New Age is a very mixed and eclectic worldview. It is mixed with uh, Hinduism and Buddhism from the East and pantheism from the West. And you can find that easily if you visit uh, the uh, New Age shops in Sedona, Arizona. Number three, New Age is uh, pantheistic, at the same time, very subjective. So it inevitably leads to moral relativism. Finally, in this new age worldview, it is hard to find any true meaning in life. So I mentioned that some people are using a very strong drug to uh, realize and experience uh, they what they wanted to achieve. Now, let me tell you then some possible alternatives to the weak points of this worldview. First of all, on the aspect that New Age can easily fall into the trap of self-deception, we need to emphasize that human beings cannot become gods. New Age is actually very similar to the biblical story of the Garden of Eden when seduced, uh, which seduced Eve by eating the forbidden fruit, you will not die, but the eyes will be truly open and you can know good from evil and you will become God, said the serpent. So this is exactly the same in New Age. New Age includes all these four aspects. 
In this sense, new age is not something new, I think. <clears throat> the self is said to be the center of the universe, the Atman and Brahma. And in saying so, one becomes God. And imagination becomes reality. What can be seen is what exists. Then whatever one imagines is not a problem. And in this case, many problems can arise in the reality. <clears throat> and this is because this self is in a subjective world. And even if one does as one pleases. There is no way to control or stop this. The biggest problem is that this self does not always have positive imaginations, but often very immoral and greedy thoughts. In the end, new age is used to make justification for the greed that is inside one person. Number two, New Age is a very mixed, eclectic, and mystical worldview that could lead to a more confusion in our mental world and daily life and needs to show what the true meaning of life is. To do this, the fact that we cannot be God, and by mixing so many different worldviews together, one cannot find the objective standard of life should be acknowledged. Furthermore, the various drugs and the after of effects and side effects associated with them are severe and the use of them should be criticized. And the alternative that is healthy to the spirit and body should be provided. For example, the biblical worldview has a clear stance. In the Bible, when Moses was speaking to the Israelites who were about to enter Canaan, and Moses said, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft. Deuteronomy 18, verse 10. Which means that those people should not be allowed in Canaan, promised land. Furthermore, those who practice such things are in fact being controlled by Satan and they cannot avoid punishment. And you can find that in the book of Revelation, the final book in the New Testament. Again, New Age is a mixture of Hinduism and Buddhism from Asia and pantheism from Europe, and it's very chaotic. There are not that many worldviews that have mixed as many worldviews from the East and the West. However, in the end, the focus of this worldview is that human beings are the center of the universe and is a very self-centered worldview. 
Consequently, transcendent God is denied, and human beings are gods, and the universe and uses various worldviews and spirits as one pleases. Number three, New Age should provide an absolute moral standard or criteria instead of the normless relative view of morality. New Age is pantheistic and subjective worldview. So it can only lead to moral relativism. Advocates of New Age claims that when the consciousness of the universe is reached, time, space, and morality disappear. And therefore, it is very hard for them to make moral judgment on immoral behaviors. If there is no absolute standard of morality, then everything is possible, and no one can ask moral responsibility of anyone. Therefore, in this worldview, no one can judge the choice or action of another person. Self is God, so no transcendent God is acceptable nor any transcendent standard of any kind. In this kind of worldview, it is possible to reason that since I am God, whatever I do is moral. However, we can easily see why such a worldview is dangerous. Because this kind of statement would justify solipsistic egoism. In this sense, the age worldview has some serious moral problems and dangers within it. Especially the fact that Adolf Hitler's behavior cannot be criticized, ignores the suffering of the victims, and this is inhuman and very cruel. As such, if we lose absolute moral standard, then anything can be justified, and so we need an absolute standard. If this is made by human beings, however, this too cannot escape from being relative, and this world would be more chaotic because other people can argue another criteria. New Age is like a human beings building the Tower of Babel again. If you can remember my lecture about the biblical worldview. However, absolute moral standards like the Ten Commandments make our lives more holy and reverent and helps to love our neighbors. Finally, an alternative worldview that can show other aspects of life that the new age cannot show is needed. Because it is impossible to debate with someone who claims one is God, when the standard that decided by oneself conflicts with that of others it would not 
be possible to come to an agreement or even converse about this. In fact, quite a few people to help with meditation and to reach the consciousness of the universe take various kinds of drugs. This can lead to serious social problems and issues and can also cause a lot of secondary crimes. New Age tries to put human beings at the position of God and tries to determine the fate of human beings. However, since human beings are not God, this kind of worldview would have internal contradictions. This worldview can be seen as the dominant type of religion in a secular society. On the other hand, the alternative would be to practice true love as the meaning of life. Not only loving the self, but truly loving neighbors would help overcome self-centeredness and live a truly life. If we look at a New Age website called uh, AquariusNewAgePlayground.com, we can read that their mission is to enhance health, I quote, to promote well-being, to encourage discovery, to broaden minds, to enlighten spirits, and to support those who seek the best in life and in themselves while having fun, end of quote. To do this, they offer dance, fitness training, well-being, music, art, and meditation. They claim that through these various methods, they can give physical, mental, and spiritual health and happiness to the modern people. These methods are likely to give some rest and recovery to modern people who are tired from everyday life. Furthermore, New Age is affecting the academia in various areas. If we classify this in the aspect of theology, pantheism, philosophy, non-naturalism, morality, relativism, natural sciences, cosmic evolution, psychology, human-centered cosmic consciousness. In sociology, non-traditional family, society, and country. In the uh, area of law, New Age emphasizes self-law. In economy, it stresses mind over material. In the area of history, it stresses moving towards God consciousness. In recent year, days, New Age is criticized for being cultural imperialism. For instance, some Native American leaders say that New Age is using their sacred rituals in the wrong way and that 
they are ruining the intellectual and cultural assets. They say that the value of these instructions and ceremonies and led by unauthorized people are questionable, maybe meaningless and hurtful to the individual carrying false messages. And they say that the New Age movement does not fully understand their life and is merely mimicking their lifestyle and distorting it. They even proclaim war against these plastic shaman or plastic medicine people. Here, plastic shaman or plastic medicine people are people who self-proclaim to be a shaman or holy person but it's not really related to the traditional culture. And when someone from their community goes out to the world and becomes a shaman of white people, they are criticized as those who are prostituting our spiritual ways for their own selfish gain, with no regard for the spiritual well-being of the people as a whole, end of quote. So we have looked at the worldview of New Age until now. This worldview has developed as Westerners became interested in the mystical worldviews of the East, such as Hinduism, Buddhism, and so on. So this worldview and movement has rapidly spread across the United States. Of course, there are some positive aspects, but also there are many negative aspects to this worldview. And then we have mentioned alternatives to these big points. And this worldview stresses the spiritual aspect of the world than the physical. But again, we need to look at both sides of the world equally. And this is the end of my lecture on New Age. And these are the references that I have consulted. So you can take a look at that as well. And if you have any questions, you can contact through this email address. And also you can check this website. And uh, thank you for your attention. And we will see you next time uh, with another topic.